Oh, what could have been. I used to buy a lot of $5 and $10 used games because you just never know when you might find a little gem out there. If this game would have been given a little bit more development time, I think it's possible that it could have got to be one of those games. Welcome to completion number 32 of the Potato Backlog Project. I completed games for my 431 game backlog, allowing myself $5 per completion to go towards the purchase of new and used video games. For more details, see the links below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for the mutant friendly Tater Raider. And let's have a quick look at T. TMNT Simultaneously released in 2007 with a movie of the same name, this is the classic video game based off a movie release. Something we don't see a lot of anymore these days. But in the past, it was common for companies to release a video game adaptation of their big theatrical film release. The games themselves were usually sloppy, rushed, unoriginal messes, that very loosely followed the events of the movies. The TMNT falls somewhere in the middle for me. I'm guessing the people that played this game as kids will have pretty fond memories of it. The story thinned out a little bit from the movie, but it follows most of the main beats, April and Casey Jones are nowhere to be found, and the game is actually the turtles narrating and telling the story of the movie themselves to Splinter and you, I guess? This is aided by some cool comic book art, some solid voice acting, and some small clips from the movie itself in between levels. The bones of the game are actually pretty solid. The movement, the platforming, the special moves and brother interactions, they all showed really good potential. The problem lies in the polish of those ideas and systems. This actually feels like an alpha build of the game, with the rest of the game to be added in and all the established systems and ideas to be fleshed out and built up from what's presented here. The game is designed to gear towards a younger audience, but that doesn't mean it has to be a bad game. I think what actually happened here is development was cut short to have the game ready to release alongside the movie. When you are running around the levels, you see a lot of things that feel like they should be breakable, usually pretty standard stuff in a game like this, and graphically they look like they are meant to be just that. But in reality, nothing in the environments is breakable. I also think the game had a multiplayer mode at some point in development, but ultimately was scrapped for a weaker single player experience. Some of the levels you only get to be one turtle. While it makes sense at times for the story, the amount of those levels far outweighs the levels where you have all four turtles available, and by a large margin. Playing a turtles game, the first thing you want to do is pick your favorite turtle and go kick some butt. Here you have to wait a little bit until that's even an option. The battle system for fighting is very surface level, with ideas and options that could have been explored further and deeper. There are ratings for the fights you get in based on performance, and you're also rated on your brother interactions and the speed of your level completions. The options you do have while you're fighting are very limited, and you don't have to use a lot of different strategies to defeat the different enemy types. I can chalk this up to the developers thinking they're making a game for kids, but it's rated 10 plus. And I know for a fact kids can handle much more than this game gives them credit for. I guess it's just a little disappointing to go through this game and think about what could have been. I enjoy beat em up games, I absolutely love the Ninja Turtles, but this one ultimately wasn't given the chance to shine. You can see the potential there at times, but the second something almost gets there, it feels like the developer would have said something like, okay, well that works well enough now, let's move on to the next thing, let's go, 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 go. One happy potato face out of five. I wasn't expecting too much going into this game, and that's okay. I still did end up having a little bit of fun running around beating things up as a Ninja Turtle. But with games like Shredder's Revenge out now, and DLC coming for that game, there's just no reason to seek this game out to play it, even if you are a hardcore Turtles fan. If you had a good experience playing this game as a kid, I suggest just keeping that memory locked away in a nice little place and don't do anything to ruin it with that the backlog project rolls on thank you for watching be kind to yourselves and others that deserve it we're on to the next one make sure you stick around to the end of the video mm -hmm. the end of the video so let's go and the game is actually the turtles let's go over the top ninja action what does that even mean <laughs> in pretty good shape for how old it is not bad so let's go